Thanks, God. We for a few. There you go. Well, welcome, everybody. We're so glad you're with us. Amen. And uh, we just want to say happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And um, let me see. Happy New Year and a happy new month. Because today is the first Sunday in February. Amen. So praise God. We want to welcome you. Amen. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. And you know what? God has something for me. I think Pastor Pat was talking about that. God has something for me. You know, <laughs> clear your minds. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're thinking, hurry up, Pastor. Yeah, we, we got a Super Bowl to go watch. <laughs> but you know what? This is God's time. Yes, it is. Amen. We're assembling yeah. ourselves together. God has a message for you. And you know what? Well, I'm just going to say, <laughs> don't look at it. Jose up here. Don't look at Pastor Jose. You look at what God has to say through Amen. Pastor Jose. I mean, he's got a message for you. Thank Amen. You You're not exempt. You know, if you just sitting there thinking about all the wrong things that's going on, then uh, you need either you need to get saved or you just need to focus on what the Word of God brings you. Amen. Because Amen. he wants to bless you. Amen. He wants to bless you. And you know what? When you're blessed by the best, mm -hmm. <laughs> he wants you to go out and be a blessing. Yes. Amen. He doesn't just want you to keep it in. So, amen. So, prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. We've been talking about opening the new year with a bang. Yes. <laughs> and I told you, I said, what is a bang? A bang is opening the new year with excitement. Yes. You know how many people gather in New York to see the thing, uh, the new year come in, and uh -huh. they celebrate and they have such a great time? Believers should yes. be the happiest people on earth. Yes. You know, yes. hey, he gave me a new day. What does it say? This is the day the Lord has given me. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I'm not even preaching yet. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm just preparing you. Opening a new with, with a new bang. What is a bang? A bang is excitement. Yeah. Bang is enthusiasm. Yeah. Bang is being stirred oh, up. Yeah. Stir yourself up. Amen. Yeah. We talked about pep rallies. You know when you went to the pep rally, everybody got excited. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Everybody got excited. And we need to do the same thing. You know, the world get excited about their events. Uh -huh. We need to get excited about our God. He's a winning God. We're on a winning team. Yeah. Amen. So why shouldn't we be the happiest people? Yes. Amen. When you have a relationship with your God and you know who you are in God uh -huh. and whose you are, you would be the happiest people. I'm going to be sharing with you here in a few minutes about some things here. <laughs> Amen. So praise God. Prepare yourselves to receive. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Those of you that are joining us by audio or video, prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenido a todos los que nos escuchen por audio o video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Tiene que lo quiere bendecir, lo quiere animar, lo quiere cambiar y lo quiere, los quiere corregir. Amen. So he wants to bless us, encourage us, change us, and correct us. Yeah. And you know, as, as believers, we used to allow the word of God to convict us oh. and correct us. Now, as believers, we just say, hey, I don't want to go to that church anymore because they're offended by the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't be offended by the word of God. Right. If you got offended, well, maybe you need to get saved mm -hmm. because the word of God should convict you to mm -hmm. say, hey, I need to do better. Mm -hmm. I can do better. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. You prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Mm -hmm. I have decided to follow Jesus. Just yeah. one of our songs today, and there's no turning back. All we got to do, he says, you know what? I'm forgetting the past, mm -hmm. and I'm going to press on with things, with better things with God. Amen? Yes. He's got better things for you. Yes, he does. Amen? You know, all these things in this world is just temporal, just for, but for a little while. Huh. But I'm not of this <coughs> world. We're just passing through. Mm -hmm. We're children of God. Our home is heaven. Amen? Praise God. I am excited. I don't know about you. So grab your Bibles, grab your sword songs right. of God. Amen. And say it like you mean it, church. Amen. Amen. Now, if you don't have a Bible, there's Bibles right behind you there in the back. Yes. Grab you one and have one. Amen. Amen. Don't say he never talks to you and your dirty, your dusty <laughs> Bible is sitting there, you know. He you need to open it up and he'll talk to you anytime. Amen. All the time. Amen. He's there for you. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. 
In the memory of saying, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <sighs> My mind is alert. You know when the enemy attacks, you fight a spiritual battle daily. You cannot defeat the enemy in the flesh. You got to get in the word of God. Amen. In the spirit, in the word. Feed yourself the word of God. Amen. Feed your spirit the word of God. Renew your mind with the word of God. And crucify your flesh. Amen. 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 The battlefield is the mind. So you got to renew it. You know, because if you don't, you're just going to be like the world. Amen. You're just going to fall back into and be like the world. But you got to renew your mind to think like he thinks. Yes. He says in Ephesians 6, uh, 5 and 1 and 2, it says to be imitators of Christ. Uh -huh. So if you're not imitating your Savior, <laughs> again, you need to get saved. Because you need to be more like him all the time. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. That's good preaching, Pastor. <laughs> so our series has been on opening the new year with a bang. Amen. But today we're going to be talking about, uh, well, last week we talked about uh, bloom where you're planted. <laughs> bloom where you're planted. You may not be where you want to be, but guess what? I can bloom where I'm planted. You know, we talked about plants, uh, uh, cactuses, uh, trees, whatever. They bloom, you know, wherever they are. They could be on a on, on concrete, on a crack in a concrete. They could be on a on, on a rooftop. They could be on a mountainside, or, or you know, in a desert. They could be in, in a nice area. Mm -hmm. But wherever you fall, wherever they fall, they yeah. bloom. Yes. God created them that way. Yeah. Amen. When you know who your God is, you're going to bloom no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember, we talked about Paul wrote two-thirds of the New Testament, mm -hmm. and he was in prison. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have said, you know, hey, if you put me in a nice, good, uh, cushy place, you know, hey, I, I'll do the, I'll write all this for you. Mm -hmm. No. He yeah. says, you know what? Yeah. He was in prison, but the prison wasn't in him. Yeah. On a daily basis, you know, you could be in prison mm -hmm. just in this world. But you can change that, you know, just by changing your attitude. Yeah. Having a cheerful, a godly attitude. Amen. amen. Yeah. Being Christ-like. So yeah. praise God. Amen. So bloom where God has you. Yeah. Amen. And once again, opening a year with a bang. Yeah. Talking about excitement, enthusiasm, uh, joyfulness, gladness. <laughs> Believers serving him with passion. Serving him with a yeah. smile. And we ought to be talking about a smile. <laughs> Everybody has one. <laughs> All you have to do is smile, you know. It shocks people. <laughs> it shocks people. But say, well, you know, I haven't seen that person smile in a long time. You know, yeah, give your frown a break. Oh, God. You know, God gave us a smile, and he wants us to be cheerful people. Yeah. And, and as I said this morning, we should be the happiest people. Yes. When you're happy, you smile a lot. Mm -hmm. And people want to know, what is wrong with that person? <laughs> yeah. So we should be the happiest people. Amen. Blue means yeah. uh, to, it means that you, you're going to uh, uh, be happy no matter where you are. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Bloom where you are. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And uh, we're going to continue today with being, uh, let me see, joyful and being happy with a smile. It says believers should be the happiest people in yes. earth. Mm -hmm. Whew, the most happy, the most joyful, mm -hmm. and smiling. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We're the first Christians. <laughs> Excuse me, let me, I wrote this. <laughs> Oh, really? When we first accepted Christ, you know, hey, everything was fine. Our yeah. priorities was right. You know, our priority says our priority list as we start this new year should be God first. Mm. Matthew six thirty three, seek ye yeah. first the kingdom of God. God. Amen. And we get our priorities right, but guess what? <laughs> the world's going to see to it that you stay busy. Oh yeah. And they're going to just clobber, just bring all these things on you. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Pretty soon, your priorities are going to change. Yeah. When your priorities change and you start putting him towards the bottom, oh. guess what? The smile is gone and the frown is in. Amen. So we can do something about this. Let me see how I wrote it here. But as time goes on, priorities change and joy and happiness goes out yeah. and the world comes in. Oh, boy. There are too many believers oh. who are just struggling through life, mm. barely getting by. Mm. 
believers living, 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 living a defeated life. Yeah. You may be a born again Christian, a believer, but guess what? <laughs> your frown shows it. Oh yeah. Your 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 words, your actions show it. You're magnifying your problem. You're magnifying the world more than you're magnifying your God. Yeah. We have to. Gloria a Dios. We have to. We have to magnify Him. Magnify Him and not the problem. Yeah. Magnify Him and not the world. Yeah. And then <clears throat> you could be a Christian and still struggle. You could be a Christian and li living a defeated life. Mm -hmm. You know, when you buy something, they, you buy a new car, and it's got, man, it's, it's nice. It's got, it's got a frame. It's got a body on it. It's got wheels on it. It's got a nice motor. But guess what? It's got all these other options. Mm. It can do all these other things. I got a new TV, and guess what? It's got so many options. I can't even <laughs> understand all these things. Well, guess what? When you're a born-again believer, you got all these things available mm. to you. Amen? But guess what? If you don't have a relationship, you don't know any of them. That's right. And you're going to be defeated. And you could be a born-again Christian and still be defeated because you haven't tapped into your authority in Christ. Mm -hmm. I could do all things through Christ mm -hmm. who strengthens me. The enemy is under our feet. you got to put him there yes, because right. he's not going to go. Yes. So you got to tell him, go. Amen? But it ain't going to happen unless you do it. That's right. So we're talking about happiness. We're talking about joy. Our way to heaven, <laughs> sadly, instead of joyfully and thankful and cheerful and smiling. On my way to heaven, singing victory mm. with a smile on my face. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to stay smiling a lot. <laughs> uh, Nehemiah 8 and 10, uh, the last towards the be, uh, end of the chapter, uh, the verse says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. How many of you need strength? Yeah. All of us. <laughs> yeah. We need the strength of God yeah. just to press on these things, yeah. you know. Just to press on, we need his strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. You wouldn't have known that unless you got in the Word right. and found out for yourself yeah. and read what the Word of God says. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Start mm -hmm. celebrating your life. Be joyful. Be happy. Don't just endure your days. Oh, enjoy your days. Yeah. He says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. Mm -hmm. Amen? So... Who's got a problem here? Well, maybe we don't understand, but you don't understand, Pastor. It's uh, cold outside. <laughs> you know, uh, the weather's bad outside. You know, but you don't understand. It's Monday. You know, whatever the situation, whatever the circumstances, mm -hmm. this is the day I have given you. Mm -hmm. Greater is he to send you than he that is in the world. Yes. Rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The greater one is in me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Jesus said Jesus was crucified, <laughs> but he says he rose on the third day. And not only that, he was taken into heaven. And he says, you know, what I do, what I did, you could do also. Yeah. yeah. Amen. He sent the Holy Spirit. So smile. Mm. It will give me faith, <laughs> face, uh, uh, life. <laughs> and it gives your spirit uh, a, a lift. Amen. <laughs> Get with Christian friends and enjoy, cut loose, laugh, have fun. You know, sometimes we go into the world because they're having more fun than Christian people. <laughs> Amen. And guess what? If they're having fun, they may not be doing the right things. Oh. But we go and join them, and we allow that to come into us. Oh. We need to cleanse ourselves. Give yourself a spiritual bath all the time oh. and get the world off of you. Oh. And start thinking like he wants you to think. Amen. Yes, yeah. I know the Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to be talking about that too. <laughs> oh, Woo, Psalms 34 and 8. Just write these down. I'll read them to you. Psalms 34 and 8 says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, the joy of those who take refuge in him. There's joy. Amen. So that was Psalms 34 and 8. Amen. In Psalms 37 and 4 says, Delight, enjoy yourself in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Wow. If I have my heart's desires, guess what? I'm going to be happy, yeah. and I'm going to have a smile on my face. Mm. Amen. People are going to wonder, it says, what's wrong with him? Ain't nothing wrong with me. Uh. I'm happy. I'm <laughs> joyful. Amen. <laughs> and that was Psalms 37 4. Uh, Psalms 20, uh, 17 22 says, a cheerful, happy, joyful heart 
is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Amen. A cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Every morning when you wake up, before you even get out of bed, just say this. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this day. Why? Because this is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad yes, in it. And, and you know, when, when, when you get up and you walk out of your house, as soon as you get to the, wherever you're going, buy your yeah. coffee, there's a crowd of people already there. And everybody said, what a bad day it is. Yeah. <laughs> and you already confessed right. it's a great day. So, you know, if you join this crowd, don't join what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Just let them know. Say, hey, this is a beautiful day. Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. I just know that I'm glad and rejoicing because God has given me a new day. Yes. You know what? You open your eyes. Yes. That's good enough right there. Yeah. <laughs> he woke you up. Praise God. Yes. He didn't wake you up for you to go and complain and magnify oh, yeah. the world and the problem. Mm -hmm. He magnified so you could magnify him. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Woo. Hallelujah. Praise That's Psalms 118, 24. If you didn't write that one down, Psalms 118, 24 yes. says, This is the day the Lord has made. I some some translation says we. I said I. Mm -hmm. And you can take the I and the we and cross them out and just put your name in there. Or say, yeah. we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Yeah. Personalize your Bible. We've talked about this all the time. Yeah. If you can't scratch and personalize your Bible and highlight your Bible, throw it away, get it throw it away and, uh, and get another one that you can. <clears throat> Amen? Mm -hmm. So decide to be happy, joyful, and smile right where you are. Mm -hmm. Bloom wherever God plants you. Yeah. You know, when you have, if you're going to have an attitude, oh. have a godly attitude, mm -hmm. have a right attitude, have a positive attitude. Mm -hmm. Amen. An attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Saying, thank you, Lord, that yes. you opened me this morning, that you woke me this morning. Yes. Instead of having a bad attitude. You know what? Everywhere you go, you can find a bad attitude. Oh, my goodness. And you oh. know, <laughs> if you're not prepared for it, you can fall right into it. Yes. So don't catch the bad attitude. Yes. You're just driving somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, all you hear about is road rage. <laughs> You know, and you can get a bad attitude just going somewhere. You ain't yeah. even seen nobody. Yeah. You ain't talked to nobody. But uh -huh. you can get in the wrong attitude uh -huh. real quick. Real quick. Amen. Yeah. Let me read you this list, okay? And you just sit there and listen. <laughs> smiling <laughs> can elevate your mood yeah. and the mood of those. El smiling can elevate your mood and the mood of those around you. Uh -huh. Amen. So why not? Wear a smile everywhere you go. Uh -huh. You know, pretty soon everybody's going to be smiling. Say, why are we all smiling? <laughs> <laughs> you brought it there. You brought it there. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> smiling can have both short and long-term benefits on people's health uh -huh. and well-being. Yeah. Ooh, smiling makes us attractive. Keep smiling. <laughs> looking attractive mm -hmm. and youthful. No frowns. <laughs> <laughs> Don't frown. <laughs> just have a nice smile. Amen. Amen. Makes you youthful. You know when you frown, it just makes you ugly <laughs> <laughs> and unattractive. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Smiling relieves stress. Yes. Smiling not only helps prevent us from looking tired, mm -hmm. worn down, and overwhelmed, but can actually help us reduce stress. When you are stressed, you can take the time to put on a smile, mm -hmm. and those around you will reap the benefits. All right. Amen. Okay. You know what? I was having a bad day. When you walked in with that smile, man, it changed everything. That's <laughs> right. You can change the mood. You can change the attitude around here. Yes. Wow. You know? Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Yes. I'm glad you're here. Yes. You know what? Bloom where he plants you. Yes. And one of those bloomings is a smile. Amen. Some people get mad, you know, because you smile. You smile too much. Well, praise God. <laughs> smile, yeah. Smile and elevates our mood. Next time you are feeling down, try putting on a smile. Amen. Put on a smile. Say, wait a minute. Let me get my priorities right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Put a smile on. 
Great is he that sent me to you that is in the world. Smiling is contagious. Smiling not only has the power to elevate your mood, it can also change the mood of others and make the things happier. Amen. Yeah. So smile, smiles are contagious. Yes. <laughs> things are going to change. Amen. You brought it. You know, we sow seed. Yeah. We sow seed. We sow words or seed. And you sow seed. So you want to say the right words. Yes. The Bible says death and life are in the power of the, oh, of the tongue. Yeah. Death and life are in the power of your words. Yes. So, you know, I'm going to say positive things. And I'm going to put on a smile. It's a good thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it's going to change the atmosphere wherever I go. Yes. You can say, you know, a lot of times we go and there's a bad <laughs> atmosphere. Oh, there's a bad yeah. attitude, a bad mood everywhere, wherever you go. But mm -hmm. I'm going to change it. I'm not going to fall for that because I know I can do better. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, yeah. Praise God. Smile and boost your immune system. Acts of smile it acts, uh, actually helps the immune system mm -hmm. to function more effectively. When you smile, the immune system improves because you are more relaxed. Mm -hmm. You want to be relaxed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, man, Praise you know, <laughs> we get around a crowd and they start talking about problems and how stressed they are. Oh, and you know, Lord. if you're not prepared, you can fall right into it and say, man, mm -hmm. I know. So am I. And you start confessing what they're confessing. And you start believing what they're believing. Say, no, 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 no. I'm not going to fall into that. I'm not going to slip into that. I'm going to say, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm not going to fall for that anymore. You know what? Hey, you know what? I have the victory. Well, how? What, what's different about you? Why do you have the victory? Because the greater one is in you. <laughs> I have Jesus, my Lord and Savior. And you could have Jesus too. Do you know you you are better? I told you this last week. You're a better witness with a smile than a frown. <laughs> with a smile that's contagious, a frown pushes people away. Mm. Amen. So you want to smile? <laughs> smile, open them up, you know, to receive. Amen. Smile and lowers your blood pressure. Come on now, stop thinking that pill now. Amen. When you smile, there's a measurable reduction of your blood pressure. Oh, Amen. Boy. Just let that stress go. Amen. He says, cast all no. cares on him because he cares for you. Amen. <laughs> Just let it go. Relax. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Amen. You don't need a drug. <laughs> you don't need a whatever whatever you drink. <laughs> you just get high on the most high. Amen. Amen. And it's going to make you relax. Amen. Oh, God. <laughs> it's nothing higher than him. Amen. Uh -huh. Smiling makes you feel good. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Smiling is a natural drug. <laughs> God has given us this natural drug for oh, us to God. take. Amen. And put a smile on your face. Amen. Amen. You get high on the most high. Mm -hmm. And get no higher than that. <laughs> Amen. And guess what? You can stay up. You never come down. Don't allow yourself to come down. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> stay up on the most high. <laughs> Smiling makes you, ooh, a lot of us need to hear this. Smiling makes you look younger. <laughs> Smiling makes you more attractive. It can also make you look more youthful. The muscles we use to smile also lifts our face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Making a person appear younger. Smiling your uh, smile your way through the day. You look <laughs> younger and feel better. Amen. Less muscles when you smile than when you frown. <laughs> Less wrinkles. <laughs> Yeah. So the best to smile. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a new year. And what are we doing? Yeah. We're opening the new year with a bang, with an excitement, with yeah. enthusiasm, stirring yeah. ourselves up, being joyful, being cheerful, you know, being a good witness for God. And you know, that smile is going to attract people mm -hmm. and know what to say. You know, Lord, help me to say what I need to say. Mm -hmm. Amen. Prepare yourself. Be imitators of Christ, you know. And when they come back and say, man, you know one thing I noticed about you? Mm. You're always smiling. Mm. Now they're opening the door for you to come in 
Why are you always mad? Because Christ is my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Now that opening says you can have the same thing. You all you need to do is receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Be better for them to say, why is why are you I noticed one thing about you, you're always smiling. They could have said, you know, I noticed one thing about you. You're always late. <laughs> you know, you're always frowning. You're always mad. You're always stressed out. Oh God. But they won't say that about you. Uh -huh. Amen. Don't let them say that about you. Let them say, hey, you know, you're the closest thing to Christ I ever seen. <gasps> Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We're imitators. Mm -hmm. Being imitators of Christ. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hey, I need to you look younger. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling makes you seem successful. People who smile regularly appear more confident, more likely to be promoted. Uh, Amen. You're more likely to be approached. Uh, if you smile, and people are going to approach you uh, and let you know and tell you, you know, hey, something about you. Is that something about you? They see, mm -hmm. and that is Christ in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. If he's in my life, Thank you, Lord. I can do all things through him. All things. Smiling helps you stay positive. Stay yes. away from depression, stress, and worry. Yes. Instead, smile. Amen. So it's enough of my smile today for, for a little bit there. So Amen. smile no matter where God puts plants you, okay? Bloom where God plants you. Smile where God plants you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, I'm going to tell you so many reasons why I'm so upset where I'm at. Oh. And they'll try to dump this garbage on you. <laughs> Don't take it. <laughs> Amen. I'm not upset. I'm just going to do the best where uh -huh. God sends me. Yeah. Be your best wherever God plants you. Mm -hmm. If I'm here, I'm here for a reason. Yes. And Lord, I'm giving you the glory. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Amen. Remember that. Thank God. Thank you. Because you ain't always going to be where you want to be. And it ain't always going to be nice. It's going to be, sometimes it's not going to be good. Amen. Yeah. Make a firm decision to enjoy your mission. Yes. Enjoy your journey. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your year. Enjoy your day. Why? Because he says, rejoice and be glad in it. Because I've given it to you. Amen. Who calls you? He calls you. Mm -hmm. He anointed you. And he equipped you to be successful. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you keep relationship and you stay hooked to your uh, to your God, yes. you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to fulfill what he's called you to do. Yeah. You know, the world will bring distractions. People will bring distractions. Oh, yeah. But you're going to stay connected to the one that's called you and equipped you to succeed. Yes. But the enemy's going to see to it. The world's going to see to it. They want to try to uh, mm -hmm. go, make you go wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or do wrong. But I'm going to fulfill what God has called me to be. To be. Yeah. Amen. When you do, you will begin to experience abundance, joy, mm -hmm. filled life that God uh, died and has given us. John 10.10 10 says, The thief, the enemy, has come but to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. Amen. Have it more abundantly. Yes. And in the, uh, let me read it to you from the Amplified. John 10.10. 10. Mm -hmm. Chapter 10, verse 10 says, in the Amplified, the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. Mm -hmm. I've come that they might have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. Amen. And you know when you minister to people, when you witness to people, <laughs> from the overflow, yes. this overflowing yeah. from you. Yes. Amen. I'm going to give them all these smiles that's overflowing from me. <laughs> Hallelujah. So he come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. You know, if you're not going, if you're not experiencing this, maybe it's time that you say, Lord, I confess, I repent, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Rededicate yourself. It's a new year. 
rededicate yeah. yourself back to him or you know if you've never accepted him just say Lord Jesus I receive you as my Lord and Savior yes. and find a place where they teach the word where they yeah. use the word of God mm -hmm. they teach from the Bible amen Praise and God. start making changes in your life yes. and start going and glowing is what we said last week it says growing glowing and going for him for him amen well, and you right. serve 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 all you know and he wants to use you mm -hmm. amen you're not here by accident that's right amen yeah. when you find out who you are you find out that he made you to be an original not a copy that's right he didn't make yeah. you a copy of anybody that's it. just be who god made you to be how do you find out who you are mm -hmm. when you have a relationship with him yeah. he'll let you know yeah. what he's called you to be yeah. i don't have to copy anybody else yeah. i just be what god called me to be and you're going to grow and you're going to bloom and be happy and have yeah. a smile wherever he puts you Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. Well, you know what? Grab your Bibles and uh, <laughs> let's read uh, Psalms 100. I was going to read just Psalm um, verse 1, but uh, let's read the whole thing. I like the all whole right. thing. We all know it, but, uh, you know, let's read it. Let's, uh, let's read it. Ooh, hallelujah. 100. And you can read this on a daily basis. Amen. Hallelujah. So Psalms 100, we're going to read that. It's only five verses. It says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. So listen, I just want to let you, everybody know. It says here, it says here, verse 2, serve the Lord with gladness, come before his presence with singing. So if you hear me singing, don't run from me. <laughs> he says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So some of you have heard me sing, and you run. I don't want you to run anymore. Because the Lord don't run from me, so you don't have to run. <laughs> Lord, I used to pray. Help me to sing. Now I'm going to pray for Pastor. <laughs> Touch that boy. Help him sing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway, but this is an awesome, awesome. It's a, it's a song of praise and a, yes. and a, and a song of uh, joy. Amen. Some of us need to read this all the time. Come into his gate with thanksgiving and to his courts with praises. Be thankful unto him. And bless his name. Amen. All of it is, is good. You know what? All the word of God is good. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Psalm 16, 11 says, You will show me a path of life. Uh -huh. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Amen. Yes. All this we're talking about have being happy, yes. being joyful. Amen. And have a smile as you serve him. Yes. Amen. Uh -huh. In Matthew, it talks to us. That the Son of God came to this earth not to serve, but, um, excuse me, not to be served, but to serve. But to serve. Amen. Yeah. Let's go find it. I want to read it. What's that? I want to quote it right. Matthew what? It's Matthew, I think it's Matthew 20. Matthew 20, 28, I think it is. My, uh, Are you there? Okay, it is Matthew chapter 20, verse uh, 28. Are you there? Mine's in red, I don't know about yours. But it says, even as the Son, and the Son has got a capital S. Yeah. Amen. The Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to yes. give his life a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. Amen. Um, the King James, this is King James, okay? Other translation says serve. Mm -hmm. Okay, he came not to be served, but to serve. Yeah, so yeah. if he can serve, so can we. Yes. Amen. That's why it's so important when you do it, say, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. Thank Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Philippians 4 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, yes. I say, Rejoice. Yes. Rejoice in the Lord sometimes. No. <laughs> no, all the time. Uh -huh. And then again, I say, Rejoice. Yes. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 
says in the NL, uh, New Living Translation says, be full of joy all the time, rejoicing always. Mm -hmm. Matthew, uh, excuse me, John 3, 16 says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, yes. that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have yeah, everlasting yeah. life. Yeah. Amen. So I'm going to rejoice. Yeah. Amen. Rejoice, rejoice, Lord. rejoice. And smile, smile, smile. Mm -hmm. So this is for somebody. So all you yes. need to do is, is open up and receive, you know. <laughs> Sometimes we don't know how to receive. We need to open up and receive what God has for us. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. You know, he's knocking, but one thing he won't do, he won't force himself. You need to open up to him. He already knows. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is just be sincere, be open, and, and say, Lord, I, I need you. He says, yeah, I know. Yeah. But you need to open up so I can yeah. come in and be with you. Amen. Okay. And once again, Matthew, I mean, Psalms 118, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. So I'm going to read you this, and then we're going to be closing. But it says, most people... Oh. Most amen. people, hey, hey, that's the first time you said amen. Now. <laughs> most people, most people, including believers, spend most of their time, listen, listen to this. They spend most of their time defeated, beaten, overpowered, overwhelmed, overcome, and crushed. Oh, boy. That's just the first one. They spend their time uptight, tense, anxious, and worried. Mm. Number three says, upset, set, troubled, full of cares, mm. full of worry. Mm. Number four is overstressed, burdened, overloaded, mm. overstretched, and overstrained. And number five says, discouraged, downcast, depressed, dejected, disheartened, and hopeless. Mm -hmm. Because of their joy, their happiness, and their smile is based entirely on circumstances. Yeah. Their job, their career, their relationships, their friendships, their habits. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. You are a believer. You're a child of God. Amen. And you, these things should not have anything to do with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says, cast all those things on me mm -hmm. because I care for you. Yeah. Remember, he's called you, anointed you, equipped you mm -hmm. to succeed whatever mission he's given you. Yes. Amen. He says, the body of Christ, us, the church, us, yes. we're the church, not yeah. this building, That's but right. us, the body of Christ. He's called us, he says, in, in, in my body, he says, I have many parts. Mm -hmm. Just like a physical body has many parts, okay? Not all can be toes, not all can be arms, not all can be oh, legs. Thank God. Amen? But God placed them there. Yeah. So smile, be happy where you put it. Yeah. And every part and all the parts inside that you cannot see mm -hmm. have a mission yes, they do. to fulfill they and yeah. they have a part to fulfill yeah. big or small uh -huh. there's no comparison uh -huh. but guess what we all work in unity mm -hmm. to make this body function mm -hmm. and there's no jealousy mm -hmm. so as the body of Christ we need to do the same thing is come together and instead of competing and say well what do you do yeah, we love sports, but in sports, there's a lot of competition. Yeah. And we start competing about what we do in the body of Christ. And next thing you know is mm -hmm. what you do is not good enough. Mm -hmm. But guess who called you to do that? Yeah. God called you to do that. And if he called you to do yeah. that, be the best little finger on the hand or the best little toe on the foot that you could be. Mm -hmm. Whatever he calls you to be, mm -hmm. do it unto him and be a God pleaser and not a man pleaser, not a world pleaser. Amen. When you do that, God's happy and we're going to be happy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because we're not trying to fulfill something right. that we're not called to do. Amen. I think I told you last week, some of us spend a whole career doing things that we're not happy doing. Yeah. And we retire and we was never happy doing what we're called to do. Uh -uh. Amen. So trust God. Amen. Amen. Trust it and be happy. Smile. Yeah. Once again, First Peter um, five seven in the expanded Bible says, "Give all your worries to Him. Mm -hmm. Cast, throw all your anxieties on Him. Why? Because He cares about you. He puts you on a winning mission. Yes. Amen. The enemy and the world's going to try to put things in your way to distract you and stop you. 
Yeah. And you know, sometimes I've told you this also. When you see yourself in the mirror, you you're looking at your worst problem. You got to deal with self. Yeah. And you got to put self in place. Amen. And once you get self in place, the world cannot distract you. Mm -hmm. Amen. They try. But mm -hmm. you get your priorities right. Yeah. Seek you first the kingdom of God, his righteousness. And you're going to fulfill what God, Lord, I'm going to fulfill what you've called me to do. Yeah. And I'm going to do it unto you. Woo, yes. hallelujah. Yeah. I've got yeah. gospel bumps all over me. Yes, uh, <laughs> Psalms, <laughs> Psalms 55 and, and 22, also in the expanded Bible, says, Give, mm -hmm. cast, throw your worries, mm -hmm. your burdens, that which has not given you, that which has not given you, to the Lord, these things are not given to you. You give them to the Lord, mm -hmm. and He will take care of, sustain you, and He will never let good or the righteous people down or be moved. You're going to fulfill what He calls you to do. Mm -hmm. When you give it to Him, and you let the past go mm -hmm. and not be a prisoner of your past yeah. or your sins, mm -hmm. then you're going to fulfill what God calls you to do. Yeah. But the past always tries to call you back and say, hey, you didn't finish what you're supposed to do. You didn't do anything you were supposed to do. But that's okay. It's in the past. Yeah. Lord, I'm pressing on with you. New things. Amen. Yeah. New years, new things. Amen. God. And we're pressing on. Why lose your joy and your smile when you can cast or give to him? Mm -hmm. Stay joyful. Keep your smile. And don't let them go. Mm -hmm. Keep your spirit, your joyful, your happiness, your smile, batteries, charged. No frowns. Smiles only. <laughs> when you keep your spiritual batteries charged up with the word, being in the word, fellowshipping with him, my spiritual batteries are high, high, high. My face is smiling. I've given myself a face lift, and I'm going to have a fun time. The world is going to have to put up with this, and they're going to say, look at you. You know, why are you always smiling? Thank you for asking. Now I can tell you, <laughs> greater is he that sent me than he that sent the world. You can have the same. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just remember why we fight a spiritual battle daily. Amen. Ephesians 6, 12 says, our fight, for our fight, our conflict, our struggle is not mm -hmm. against people on earth, flesh and blood, but against the rulers and authorities and the powers uh -huh. or uh powers or rulers of this world, darkness against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly worlds mm. or the heavenly realms. Yeah. Amen. That's your that's 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 where your troubles are. Mm. Amen. So we gotta stay in the word so we can be in the spirit. Amen. So when you fight the spiritual battle, you're fighting it in the spirit and not in the flesh. Remember? Amen. That's true. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Right. So we got to keep ourselves fully loaded Hallelujah. with the Word of God. Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. People get happy and joyful when things are going our way, when things are smooth, when things are easy, when things are comfy, no problems, no cares, no anxieties. People get happy when, hey, all this week I struggled, but guess what? Friday comes around and all of a sudden they remember, thank God it's Friday. The weekend's here. We're going to have fun. People are joyful when holiday time comes, vacation time comes, uh, time off comes, when Super Bowl Sunday comes. <laughs> These things make people happy, joyful, and smile. You know, what makes me smile but there's no that I'm a child of the king, of kings right. and lord and lords. Amen. Amen. And he keeps me, I keep myself charged up to be more like Praise him. God. Amen. And I'm going to be happy the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. Until he stopped me here to go. Thank so keeping my joy. Amen. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes. So we'll close with that. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, I don't know about you, but I preach myself happy. Amen. Uh, 